Hi. Hello once again. This is the hometown historian John Miller. We are at the historical marker. This is the third one for the day and the fourth overall for John Walter. He was the co-laborer of Jacob Albright and founding of Evangelical Church, or would be also known as the Evangelical Association. He was born in 1781, died in 1818, very young. Is buried in this cemetery, which is the Mount Nebo Cemetery, which is right over there. Uh, he was an effective preacher and hymn writer. He published the first songbook for his church. But we are actually going to go right across the road because his monument and his grave are right here underneath this tree, which is very nice because I'm still having some issues walking. Not a ton, but I'm a lot better than I was, but still pretty, pretty sore. So this is the memorial for uh, John Walter. Uh, it says a number of things here, but it says uh, when he was a young man, he was without an education, and when he first started to preach, he had to spell the hymns and the texts which he desired to read, because I believe he primarily spoke German at that point, learned English, but it was not his first language. Uh, one of the interesting things about Jacob Albright, and probably pretty consistent with John Walter as well, uh, German immigrants were very... Uh, that was your main group of people that were in this area. Uh, a lot of them spoke primarily German, and uh, they both had a very unique uh, view on religion. They thought that the church should be more actively involved with caretaking for their uh, congregations when it came to emotional needs as well. Uh, Jacob Albright had especially experienced this with uh, losing two children and he felt like the Lutheran Church at that time didn't do enough to help him through his grieving period, him and his wife. So he felt that the church should be more actively involved in showing compassion and helping people through those times. He felt that was an intricate part of what the church should be about. So he went to the Methodist Church where he found that to a degree, but they would not allow you to preach in Germany. So he met with John Walter and together they started the Evangelical Association or the Evangelical Church where they allowed that and they both preached in German they were both very eloquent they said John Walter was the more enthusiastic individual and he could preach for two to three hours which is a lot of time and uh, he was known as the first poet of the church and uh, he wrote a number of their hymns were in German which I'm not going to try to read here because they're just uh it's German, <laughs> but he wrote the first song book, book for the church, and uh, his father actually was leading the first class, probably the first Sunday school class to a degree, but uh, we will be revisiting uh, this cemetery, Mount Nebo Cemetery, which was the original name of Ono, until they had to change the name, much like Jonestown, Pennsylvania, which we had visited in an earlier video. Uh, it wound out, the, Jonestown was originally called Williamsburg, so it was causing confusion with Williamsburg, Virginia, whereas Mount Nebo, where the other Mount Nebo is in Pennsylvania or in the United States, it was causing confusion, so they eventually switched it to the name Ono, both of which are biblical in origin. But uh, John Walter wound up uh, giving up preaching then eventually uh, because his health was failing, and they don't really say a whole lot about him other than he was a very influential individual, very young, and left quite the legacy both him and Jacob Albright but both both of them died very young and at some point we want to go revisit this uh, site but also visit the site of Jacob Albright where he's buried at a memorial chapel in Kleinfeldersville and uh, talk more about these two individuals the college that's named after Jacob Albright and more about the Evangelical Association as well and visit the original Albright College in Myerstown uh, so there's quite a video there a lot of history uh, the church across the street from me is actually an ECC church, Evangelical Congregational Church, which is part of what the Evangelical Association had used to be. So at some point we do want to come back here as well because I believe, from what I've been told, there is the possibility that an African American who had been a slave under Thomas Jefferson may be buried here. Whether that's rumor or whether it's truth, I'm still researching to find out if he is here, and that would be a cool find as well. But anyways... With that, we will end this video, and we will see you about town. we got one more historical marker to go to yet on the other side of Harper's Tavern. Uh, first, got to go down to...
do some shopping at Dollar General and then we'll I'll be back. Thanks everybody. We'll see you about town.